we show some of the steps and processes I use to make a uh, axial flux motor generator. This sketch is a rough idea of the overall layout. The uh, numbers on the dimensions are pretty accurate though. This is an overview of the layout of the uh, rotor and stator on an axial flux generator. And this is the, uh, the stator layout that has the uh, shows where the copper coil, copper wire coils are and the laminate steel cores are. This is the uh, copper wire coils. And that's uh, when I wound up. And that's the apparatus I use to wind all the uh, coils. And that's a coil with a uh, laminate steel core there. And that's how I, that's what I cut the cores out of. That you can see the uh, sawzall marks in the uh, laminate steel. And that's one that's cut. That was a lot of work. That was probably way too much work. But there it fits into the coil. And the uh, laminated core really uh, uh, focuses the flux lines in the right place. And these were the coils go around the uh, stator. And a few more shots here of the uh, stator being built up. And that's showing the uh, water channels for water cooling. And it's starting to build the base that gets bolted down to the framework. That's all out of fiberglass. And then you can see the wires being led to terminals. And there I'm standing it up on the base. That's in a different view. And then I'm working on the two rotors where I put the permanent magnets. I epoxy those on with high temperature epoxy to the steel backing plate. And there I'm gluing in the uh, one of the final magnets. Then I basically I weld things together after that and put on some bearings that are bolted on and just do uh, the final assembly. There's a few shots here that uh, show some of the highlights of that. A view of the bolted up uh, assembly. Showing the air gap, if you look closely. Then on the end, there's a uh, AMT-102 encoder that counts the revolutions, the RPMs. And that was tricky to mount on because my shaft was so much bigger than it was designed for. And the way I did that was to drill and tap a hole in the end of the shaft and then put a bolt in there. But this one was off center, but the other side I got really well close enough to it's within a couple thousandths of true center. But this one was the uh, my first attempt and it didn't come out very well.